Dock the ship here! You there! You look like you could handle yourself in a fight! Eivor Wolfkist, is that you? Make way for Eivor, the terror of the West! from them.
charmed the light. You there! You look like you could handle yourself in a fight. Eivor Wolfkist, is that you? It is Rolf, yeah? We raided with you that one time up on the northern coast. I am flattered you remember. It was the first time Sirbjörn let us raid so far from home. And Sigurd was sure you took more than your fair share. You're still raiding at your age. We need to grab what we can before Harald has his say across Norway. But I only plan them now. I let others do the heavy work. In fact, I'm looking for someone to lead my crew. I would like to help you out, but I have my own crew now. I did not mean you, but I could use your help choosing a leader. I have picked out a few to be tested. Tested how? If you want to see someone's true character, test it in battle. Show me your pics. My crew is gathered down by the docks. Locals mostly. Even a couple of farmers hungry for excitement. How do they compare to me and Sigurd? There is no comparing. You are building some reputation, Eivor. They are talking about you up and down the coast. Good talk or bad? Depends on who you talk to. Mostly good. Do not worry about the bad. No, they should worry about me. This is my raiding crew, Eivor. What they lack in experience, they make up for in other areas. Together, we will hammer these lumps of meat into men and women of iron, into raiders. So which from this unlucky lot would lead your crew? See that big brute, Odbjorn? He does not speak much, but he could power a ship by himself. That shield maiden is Ashild the Keen. Her blade is as quick as her wits. And then, there is Thorgils. Rolf! Who is your friend? Keep your head on the fight or someone will crack it. All right! That one is so thick, he could shatter your shield. But the other men like him. And those are the best of the bunch. So those three, huh? Yeah? I have handled more. You want to fight them all at once? Why not? Raids are the stuff of chaos itself. They need a test with no rules. Challenge them, but do not damage them. It was hard enough finding this many. Listen up, you sea slugs. This is Ava Wolfkist, who has killed more men than you will ever meet. Ava Wolfkist? I have heard of you. This will be great. You want to lead my crew? You must fight Eivor. Best fighter wins. No killing, no maiming. Other than that, no rules. Understand? I am ready. <gasps> Fight! A raider needs to be ruthless. I am better than any man here. You have much to learn. Fight me first. Maybe you want to sit back down. No, no, I will be fine. And do not worry about me. Worry about yourself. That's enough. Did I win? No. 
you fought well. You have a good chance. I would rather have some meat. Did you see what you were looking for? Yes. I did not think Thorgils could do it, but he is thick-headed. Like his old man. Wait, that is your boy, Tiny Thor. He used to barely reach my belly. He has grown, and now he will want to take everything from me. But such is the way of children. Take some silver for your trouble, and a little extra. For cheating you and Sigurd on that raid. Good luck. Somewhere else. Alright. Eat 
Niedinger. Out of luck, Niedinger! In the rear, you are your dog! Ram in! Leave no room! Bad. Need to get on the other side. <clears throat> Must be blocked from the other side.
Mabius Tarta. Let's go. Up the Come for us now, harder and stronger than before. No surprise there. This war has spun on for three generations. I hardly expect him to relent. Your hatred for that man burns bright wolf kissed. I could warm my balls on it. Would you not prefer a pair of sealskin breeches? Just take care, Eivor. Such hatred. What he did to your father, he did to all of us. You are not in this fight alone. King Sterbjorn will scold you for setting out against his wishes. Of course he will. Is that not something you worry over? I worry only that our king will not see that I am right until it's too late. What about Sigurd? What would he say? If Sigurd... He would be sitting beside you, wiping the blood from his axe and smiling into the breeze. And what will you tell our king about this misadventure? Only the truth. We attacked Jotbe's fortress, killed his men, and weakened his control of this land. Will you mention the part where you lost your crew and were nearly sold as a thrall? Will that be part of your saga? If there's a skull who dares sing that verse. It'll be his last song. We thought we had lost you, Eivor. For good this time. A warm welcome as always, Ranvi. You look like red and shit. What happened? Nothing to crow about. Except to say the men who delayed us are dead. And how are you? Well enough. 
Though I have spent many tiresome days calming the rages of our king, he is not happy with you. I expected as much. And what of Sigurd? Has he returned from his raids? My husband should be home today. The last we heard, he was approaching Stavanger. Good to hear. We have need of his courage. Sigurd will not save you from his father's wrath, Eivor. You should know that by now. Did your raid not go as planned? They rarely go as planned. But we killed many of Kjotve's warriors. And there was this. My father's axe among the dead. Ah. After so many years. You should take it to Gunnar. He will give it back its edge. A good idea. After I see our king. That I do not advise. Not yet. He is meeting with a messenger from the north. I can wait. A cloud hangs over you. Is something wrong? Seeing my father's axe after 17 winters. It stirred something in me. A feeling I have not had since. Since the day he was killed. Since the day I got this. Memories of past agonies. Of sadness and pain. I should speak with Volka. She could help me make sense of my... My feelings. Take your time getting settled. I will see you at the Longhouse. I think you have lost your edge, Eivor. Just like that axe. Maybe Gunnar can help you with both. I will let you know. Trading a needle for an arrow, I see. Eivor, can you teach me the art of archery? I'll be happy to. See how I'm standing? Plant your feet in the ground, no wider than your shoulders. Breathe in as you draw the arrow back. Look at the point you want to hit, and now imagine the arrow passing straight through it and far beyond. Breathe out, and release. Well, look who it is. Practicing your wordplay, Alvis. Ah, Eivor! <laughs> the only mouth in Midgard from which I fear mockery. You told me the art of writing poetry, old friend. It is only natural that I surpass you soon. How about another lesson, then? A quick flight. Right here, right now. What do you say? Let's try flighting. I always put a few coins down as a wager. Most of those who enjoy flighting have an equal fondness for betting. But today, we'll abstain. Let me begin. I'm ready. In flighting, it's key to match cadence and rhyme. It's as much about sound as it is about time. So be careful in choosing the words that you say. Thank you. 
I'll recall what you taught ere I enter the fray. A fine answer. Perfect rhyme and a lovely cadence to match my line. Now, let us examine meaning. <clears throat> In flighting, you'll need to be cutting and keen. It's about wielding wit more than venting your spleen. If I tell you you're foolish and stupid and dull, Then I tell you, you've nothing inside of your skull. Eh, a good response. I called you stupid, and you turned it around. Flighting about wit, you matched my meaning. When you think of too many perfect retorts, use the one that best matches the meaning. Last one. So go, then, and conquer the world with your wit. Go be clever, be quick, show your spirit and grit. I look eagerly forward to seeing how you fare. I will flight you with flourish and best you with flair. Perfect, yes! <laughs> you could destroy me with such a line. Your flighting's astounding, you're worthy of praise. You swing a fine axe and you turn a good phrase. Thank you, Elvis. I'll take the lesson to heart. Hey, Tekla, what is brewing? Alvis tells me this brew is too strong. Think you can handle a few rounds? Like Odin, mead is my lifeblood. That was well drunk. Well done. Well drunk done. Come and drink. Let us amuse the gods. Is there no one who will go around with me? All right, Tekla. I'll outdrink you. Any Orlok. There is a player in every port and city. Orlok. A game of skill. Orlok. <laughs> How about a game? Let us play. Straight and to the point. May the best hand win.
Geschwindung. Good game. Ah, you just got lucky. Another round. Another time, perhaps. You look like you know a thing or two about dice.
Sven, have you designed any new tattoos? A few worth looking at. Let me have a look. Go ahead. Is there something else? See you later, Sven. Sure. Back for more? Yes. What can you do for me? And how are you, Gunnar? Holding up? Yeah, work is good and my spirits are strong, but my nights are newly cold. My lady left me, if you have not heard. I had. Sorry to hear it. You were together how long? Five weeks it was. Five beautiful, passionate weeks. But all that is done. Will I never find my Brunhilde? Valkyries do not walk the world as they once did, Gunnar. Maybe set your sights a bit lower. Lower? My friend, look at my wares, my weapons. I'm not a man to settle for less than the finest of anything. That is all for now. Return any time. <laughs> 